Good Thursday morning, everyone. Welcome to another um, 10 Minute Tips. I'm Jennifer Hernandez here with my friend, Kim Raymer. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. How are you, Jen? I'm good. I hope you're well. Um, today, Kim is going to share with us some of the oils and products we can use to support movement in our bodies. So we know that that's so important to stay healthy and well, to have strong bones, um, just for so many things to help with sleep. And um, so, but sometimes when we move, uh, we can get some occasional aches and pains and creaky knees and whatnot. So, <laughs> so what do we do about that? We can't just not move because then that actually makes it worse. So Kim is going to um, head off the conversation this morning. So we've done a number of different talks in the past as uh, on the topic of movement, the topic of pain, uh, the topic of how our bodies get into a state of being able to maximize when we're outside, when we're inside. And what we want to do today is just to share with you some simple tools that you more than likely have. If you ordered doTERRA, you probably already have these in your toolbox, but they are our support um, tools for us in either preparing for workout, preparing for movement, or preparing um, our bodies for a particular activity, or in recovery, in getting ourselves back to homeostasis. Uh, when we think about movement, it can be as simple as going on a walk around the block. Um, we're not talking about movement that you need to be in an aerobics class or you need to be a cyclist or a hiker, but there are so many different things that we'd like to do in life. And then when we are not prepared, uh, we deal with inflammation. We deal with pain. Uh, we deal with uh, those kinds of uh, ingredients that come into our body when we're trying to do something really good, but our body has not opened up. Um, let's just call it its airways. So a few simple tips from um, what we use in our, in our um, toolbox in my house, when I'm preparing for whether it's a, a yoga or a, um, a workout class or a hike or a walk around my block is oils that will not only give me um, clear pathways to moving, but also a lot of the things that we do when we move, our brain tells our legs to move. Our brain uh, has the power to tell our fingers to lift, to lift a pencil. And so uplifting oils that can prepare us for movement are as simple as wild orange or even lemon. And both of these oils are great to have in your water before you start your day. But when we talk about movement, we're talking about inspiration of knowing that what we're about to do is gonna be good for us. Especially during the last 12 months of being in COVID, many of us weren't able to move as much as normal. We worked in our houses, we were, we were kind of cooped up. And so in being able to get outside or even to do something in the house with your family, there are oils that really kind of bring us into center all the oils have a, a grounding effect, a calming effect. And when you look at uh, getting ready to do something, having wild orange, or as I said, lemon, or it could be lime, having a calming uh, oil such as lavender. And one of my favorites in order to just focus on an activity is balance. So when we talk about movement, it's not just about no pain, no gain. It's really about setting ourselves up for success, even if it is, again, a simple walk. It's something where you're, you're doing a very short hike, or you're going on a very uh, easy bike ride, or you're going for a swim. A lot of it is mental as we prepare, just the same as when we are going to work, uh, when, we're, when we're doing things that are out of the norm. Uh, when we're not prepared for activity, then you'll find that your body does tend to, to gravitate to that area of inflammation. 
and not because you were not because you had an inflammation problem before you started, but in not preparing your body, sometimes the inflammation sets in at the beginning and we can stop uh, that process a little bit by preparing our muscles and our tissues for good um, movement. And one of my favorite products and the whole product grouping that doTERRA has created, uh, which is a proprietary blend of deep blue this is a beautiful support group for you to have for any kind of movement. I use Deep Blue Rub before I go on a ride, before I go on a hike, and I don't have pain. But what it does, it sets me up for an active activity, and it reduces the opportunity for inflammation. And when I'm done with that activity, I really don't need to reapply but the, the oils and the products that make up the deep blue, whether it's the rub or the, the roll-on or the straight oil, um, and there also is a, a capsule a complex that you can take, all of these really set you up for that anti-inflammatory course of any kind of movement. Um, and so it's really not about addressing issues that come from movement, but really preparing ourselves for success in getting to that spot where we are in a place of uh, feeling good and, and looking forward to the next time. Uh, so that as you're looking for something that that is important in just getting to the point of pushing yourself a little bit, this product would be one that, that would be just incredible. Um, and I am looking for my jump in, Jen, because I'm looking for my sheet on Deep Blue real quick. Oh yeah, I was gonna just say too, um, some people get confused because other um, muscle creams, you can just slather on, but if you use too much of this, it can really feel intense. So we always tell people, um, if you're just applying to a small area like a shoulder or neck, a pea size drop works. Um, but like if you're applying to your quads, your legs, if you've got a bigger surface to cover, make sure you use a carrier oil or lotion and use maybe one or two pea size, size squirts and really rub it together and really rub that in. That's going to be plenty. I've had friends who have used a little too much and it was way too intense. Um, so, and again, if you ever put anything on that's too intense for you, remember water is not going to help you. It's another oil. So um, a neutral oil, um, coconut oil, vegetable oil is going to help to neutralize um, if, you, if you put too much of anything on as far as essential oils or things like that. Right. Because as we know with essential oils, the plants and the, and the ingredients that are a part of Deep Blue and any of our blends and in our straight oils, the chemistry of these plants go and, and our chemistry is mirrors that of plants. So they go where they're needed and it's immediate. So if you're not going through different organ channels. And so that is the power of an oil, but it's something that we need to be careful of in knowing lit less is more. Yeah, so they're deep, highly concentrated. And deep blue is a poly, polyphenol complex. It uh, includes the following oils, just as a, and a review, frankincense, curcumin, ginger root extract, green tea leaf extract, pom pomegranate fruit extract, grape seed extract. Uh, and there is a stomach blend comfort blend of peppermint, ginger, caraway that helps with um, just a digestive process because sometimes we, you know, we can have an effect from very strong oils. So you've got, you've got some oils that, that are oils and plants that really help not only with, with movement, joint pain, inflammation, but uh, some of the top uses of deep blue to support are with, with different muscle issues, but arthritis, rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis and anything itis. Uh, so when you're thinking about different uh, issues that you may have dealt with for movement um, and sore muscles, um, there, are, there are a lot of different areas that we can, we can use Deep Blue to support. It's, 
is probably my favorite and uh, it's something that you can dilute and you can use one of the four different kinds of deep blue to support you. So when you were talking about the internal use, that was only for the deep blue polyphenol complex, which does have different ingredients in it than the deep blue rubber, deep blue oil. I guess they named it uh, deep blue because they wanted people to associate it with um, calming things internally. But just to be clear, there is- That is true. The, the um, oils and products in both of those things are different. That is true. That is true. Sorry. I kind of got off track there. So yes, that was the polyphenol complex. Sorry. And the deep blue known as also the soothing blend um, basically has wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, ylang ylang, helichrysum, blue tansy, blue chamomile, and osmanthus. So you've got, you've got several different kinds of uh, carriers to bring that into your body. Uh, and the polyphenol complex is different. That's when you take internally. Yes. So hopefully if, if you haven't used Deep Blue, um, I, I don't know of anyone that orders doTERRA that hasn't probably heard of Deep Blue um, or hasn't ordered it before, but you may not have known what to do with that. Um, but it is a beautiful support for movement and for um, a healthy lifestyle. Absolutely, and I use it on probably every client somewhere, usually neck, shoulders, low back. I use it on all my massage therapy clients. They love it. For sure, for sure. Um, as with all of the oils, we have many oils that can help with movement, but uh, this is one of my favorites. It's one that is, it, regardless of the time of year, just use sparingly. And if you, if you don't like it on your hands and you can use a roll on uh, and a deep blue polyphenol complex is a good support to take with your other supplements. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Is, are we wrapping up here? I think we're I about think out of time. We're, we're almost out of time. Uh, this, this also, this oil, I just started yoga teacher training uh, and in doing 11 hour sessions, I have to say, this has been beautiful for me and both preparation and recovery. So uh, take a look at our website. Uh, please reach out to Jen or myself if you have any questions. And if you have another oil that you're wondering what you could do with that, uh, we're here to answer your questions and to help you. Absolutely. Thank you for that, Kim. And um, next week, it's already September. I can't even believe it. We're going to be talking about what is new for September. But as you guys may or may not know, uh, doTERRA is having their annual convention. It's called Evolve this year, which I think is appropriate. So we are going to be getting ready for convention. Um, you can see virtually. Um, there's still virtual tickets available. And uh, if you are interested, please reach out to one of us because you can you can see that way. Um, I would love to have people over to watch as well, especially the first day is Thursday, um, September 9th. They're going to do the new product reveal. So that's always an exciting time for us. So just mentioning that too, we are not going to have a, a 10 minute tip on Thursday, September 9th, but we will see you next week for what's new for September, at least that we'll know. September 2nd, and then getting ready for convention. So we hope you all have a beautiful weekend. Thank you for joining us live or on the recording, and we will see you soon. Thanks.